welcome to your next challenge entitled Remove Duplicates from an Array. You are to create a function that takes an array of items, removes all duplicate items, and returns a new array in the same sequential order as the old array, minus the duplicates. Check the examples below. We have an array holding integers here, 1, 0, 1, 0, and notice that the output simply has 1 and 0. Same for this string collection here, the big cat is the same because they're all unique elements, right? So I didn't have to remove anything. You get the same output. And finally, John, Taylor, and John, we see John's repeated, so that's only listed once here, and there's Taylor. Okay, I think we're good there. The notes say that the tests contain arrays with both strings and numbers, and tests are case sensitive. Okay. We'll head over to code. Please pause the video and implement this yourself. Resume when you're ready. Okay, so for the solution, I'm going to use a method that we've used in the past, and this is probably a good challenge uh, to test what you've retained. That something should come to mind that we've done. You know, maybe you got a feeling like you've done something like this before, and that's good if it did. And so I'm going to use this distinct method, if you recall that. And you can see it returns distinct elements from a sequence. And if you think about it, that's exactly what we want. It's kind of another way of stating the problem statement about removing duplicates. That's what distinct means. So this will be perfect. And if you want to read more about that, you may. The examples are usually good, but you probably remember this from a previous challenge. So, when we come back, we can say, and one other thing quick, I mean, what a poor name for a parameter. Object array, is that supposed to be string? You know, it's just, it's terrible. Anyway, let's go return items distinct. Okay, so that gave us a collection of distinct items, and you can check to see what it returns in the document. See, it's an I enumerable of T source. So, whatever object is in the array that's passed in. So, we have an I enumerable at this point, but look, they want an object array. And we've, again, have went over how to convert this to an array. And if you remember that, it is simply to array, very nicely named. And I think this does it. We might need to bring in a system link. We sure do. Okay. And yeah, a nice one-liner distinct. Let's check it before we pat ourselves on the back. Okay, seem to pass all tests. That's good. So distinct. Hopefully you came up with that. If you're still um, using for loops to go over things and perform some logic, you know, that might be okay if you're not quite comfortable. If you're still learning for loops, that's fine. It's probably a good exercise for you. So no worries there. It's all good practice. Um, I'm trying to uh, introduce some link terms as well, some link features rather. And I think there, that's about all there is to this one. I hope you found this video helpful, and I'll see you in the next challenge.